It is time for another story time video. Hey guys, it is Chelsea Crin, and today I am going to be doing a story time video with you that I didn't know if I was ever actually going to use for a story, but I think it's important. I think it's really a cautionary tale and kind of like a PSA for especially girls and women uh, who, you know, go out at night or go out in, in general, whether there's alcohol or anything around, any kind of liquid around, you have to be careful. And this is a unfortunate tale that I experienced and I want to share it with you and maybe you can learn something from it and not make the same mistake I did and not have this happen to you because it is scary how fast it happens and it's scary that, uh, well, when I get into the story, you'll understand that it's not just limited to strangers that the title of this is not clickbait it is unfortunately true somebody that i considered a friend or acquaintance of mine drugged me don't forget to subscribe to cat country hit the notification bell and like this video and um yeah let's get into this about the time a friend had drugged me so i'm going to keep the story very vague this is something that happened a few years back i was at an event with people that i considered friends and acquaintances that i knew and never thought that something like this would happen so the story goes i was at this event with people that i know that i am friends with that i'm acquaintances with that i trust and one of the guys that were there i went to go get lunch it was like kind of like an outdoor festival fair kind of thing i went to go get some food and uh he came with me which wasn't anything out of the usual we were both like hey hungry let's go grab something to eat okay so we do that and he offers to buy my food again i didn't think anything of it because the people i was with at that time the group of people i was with are people that would have done that anyway and do have done that in the past so i didn't think anything of it i still thought nice gesture thank you so much I mean, it may have cost like eight bucks for my lunch. Thanked him. That was that. Little while later, he had offered if I wanted a drink. And I said, sure. They had brought some alcohol with them to this event. And he said, uh, I just made a drink for myself. I'll make you one. Or he gave me or he said, oh, I just made this. Here's this drink. And then I'll go make another one. And I said, okay. Again, this wasn't anything that was out of the ordinary. This isn't something that never happened before this is something that like was a regular occurrence that like hey have a here's a drink or something like that it wasn't uncommon and again it was around people that i thought i could trust so he goes ahead and he goes and makes his own drink and it was a like a solo cup or maybe a little bit bigger than a solo cup full of vodka and lemonade now i drink vodka a lot i am a vodka drinker i drink uh their vodka and it used to be grapefruit juice or cranberry juice or vodka and water i drink hard alcohol when i go out normally that's not an, an uncommon occurrence for me it's not like i'm just a beer drinker just a wine drinker gives me the drink and i took a few sips of it it was good it didn't taste particularly strong and it didn't taste like well, I mean, it didn't taste like anything was in it, but I guess that's the point of these unfortunate drugs that are out there. I remember for a fact, I did not finish this drink. I maybe drank about a third of it. Now, when I go out, I will have a couple of drinks. I can handle my alcohol. I get it. I can, I can do it. I can manage it. So drink about a third of it. I felt like I had drank like an entire bottle of vodka. Like I felt so plastered. Now, backstory about myself. I don't like to get drunk. I don't like to feel buzz. I don't like feeling drunk. I am <laughs> an unfortunate control freak. I hate feeling like I don't have control of my actions. I don't like feeling drunk because people do and they make mistakes when they're drunk. I don't like that feeling at all. I've never done drugs at all. I don't try to drink to get drunk. Have I been drunk in the past? Yes. Do I like it? No. I hate that feeling. So it was extremely out of character for me to have drank in the middle of the day that much alcohol to feel that drunk that fast, which is how I know for certain I did not drink all of that drink. And even if I did, I would never have felt this way because one drink isn't going to do that to me. And I know for a fact I didn't drink all of it. Anyway, so didn't drink all that, felt awful, felt so drunk. Thank goodness I did not drive to this event. I had gone with a, for another friend of mine, like somebody I actually consider a very close friend of mine, to this event. I left my car at his house. We drove there together. And uh, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness that they were around for me in this situation. Because sometimes, in many cases, girls and guys get put in this situation and don't have anybody there for them to protect them and to make sure nothing bad happens to them. 
So luckily he was there for me and at the end of the event, I get back, I get into his car because he drove me there and I'm waiting in his car and he's talking to the guy that had handed me the drink. And the guy says to him, now this was reiterated back to me, the guy says to my friend, hey, what are you doing? And he says, I'm taking her back to my house. A, her car's not here. I drove her here and her car's at my house. B, she is in no shape to drive. And his response was, oh, damn, I've been working on that all day. Big red flags flying for my friend who then quickly put two and two together of what just happened. I don't know if it was like an immediate, I he realized what happened. I, I think it was more of like a, when we were reflecting back on it and talked about it, he realized what had happened between what he had said, how I was, he had never seen me that drunk before. And when I told him I did not finish that drink and I can't say that, oh, well, maybe you don't remember. No, because I didn't drink that whole drink. So that means I guess I didn't get the full power of whatever it was put in my drink. And I remember every detail of that day going back to his house, him and his wife telling me, no, you have to stay here. You cannot go home and waiting at their house. And then they went out that night. Uh, and I stayed until they left later on that night and I was fine enough to drive. I also remember his wife telling me either I stay there or they're going to drive me home. And I said, no, I'll just stay here. And both of them have then have since then said, I've never seen you that drunk. I've seen you buzz, but I've never seen you that drunk. And it was so out of character, putting it all the pieces together, we realized what happened. And I am again, extremely lucky. I had friends there for me that were able to spot what happened, were able to make sure nothing bad happened to me and also bring me to safety before anything bad had happened. That is terrifying to me to think that so many people are in these situations that don't have anybody there to then be their guardian angel and make sure they don't have anything bad happen to them because it happens unfortunately more than we like to admit and you always hear oh don't leave your drink at a bar don't get take a drink from a stranger i did none of that i took a drink from somebody i knew that i trusted or at least i thought i could trust and i didn't leave my drink anywhere it was with me the whole time i didn't even finish the drink and that's what happened to me so it is so terrifying and and it really makes you think of like, okay, no, you really do have to be careful. And you really, unfortunately, don't know who to trust all of the time. If you have somebody that's like kind of an acquaintance to you, you might have to second think, second guess if you should be able to take a drink from them or not, because you don't know. And I am very much more cautious now uh, over that because you don't know who you're taking a drink from, even if it is somebody that you thought you could trust. I know the friend of mine that drove me there, I can trust them. I can take a drink from them and I know nothing will ba bad will happen. I know, of course, my family members I can trust. I can trust a few close friends, but now I have to be extra cautious because I don't want to put myself in that position ever again. What's almost strange about it is that this story has been brought up now by my friend and his wife, like just the other day, both of them brought up the same day, but neither of them were in the same room when it happened. A friend of mine brought it up earlier on the day and then I was talking to his wife and she brought it up just like a few hours after he had. And that's mind boggling to me that it came up two times and I took that as a sign to say, okay, Chelsea, you do need to film this video because two people brought it up the same day within a few hours, didn't know each other bringing up this story. And I decided, all right, no, I have to film this video. It is something I've been debating for a while. This is something I've got to do. And here it is for you, the scary tale of the time a friend of mine or acquaintance of mine drugged me. And I hope you use this as a lesson, as a PSA, as whatever you want to really think about it before you grab a drink from somebody or leave your drink out. And don't just brush it off as in like, well, this will never happen to me because I said the same thing. Well, that'll never happen to me. I'm amongst friends. This will never happen to me, but it did. And unfortunately, not everybody is going to be as lucky as I was to have somebody around and have people around that made sure nothing happened because that situation could have been very, very different. And I could be telling you a very different story. So thank goodness for that. Just be careful when you're out and you're amongst people. Just be overly cautious, obnoxiously cautious, because nothing is worth your safety. 
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you did learn something from it and got something from it. Don't forget to subscribe to Cat Country. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you back here next time. Bye, guys.